Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. It's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, well, thank you so much for the one time. Good evening. That is part of your responsibility, and I do appreciate that, okay? So, um, well, before we start, guys, as usual, what we are going to do is to verify or to have a small practice about the topic that we saw yesterday. Yesterday, guys, we talked about pronunciation and intonation, right? So today, we are going to have a practice before we go to today's class, okay? So thank you so much for the ones that are here. And uh, I will need everyone to participate. But before we start with that, I would like to know if you guys have any problem or any situation with the platform. Is everything okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So if you ever had any situation with the platform, feel free to ask. I received today some of your classmates ask some questions that are good. If you don't understand, feel free to ask and I'm going to be there to help you out as much as I can, okay? So um, I hope everyone is doing okay. And if you have any, well, any issue or any problem with the platform, please let me know so you don't have any situation at the end of the module, okay? So, uh, well, we're going to start with today's class. I see that we are 19 already, so we are in number. So today's practice, guys, the first part that we're going to do is going to be about yesterday class. Yesterday, we saw intonation and stress of the words. So today, we are going to do this practice before we go to today's topic, okay? So I will need seven volunteers. If you want to be a volunteer, please tell or say me and tell me your name so I can know who you are. Me, Iris. Alice, okay, Alice, you're number one. Elmer, I can see that you raise your hand too. So Elmer, you're going to be number two. Katya, I see that you raise your hand too. So you're going to be number three. I, I need seven. So we just have three. I'm still missing four. Me, teacher. Who are you? Elud. Elude, okay, Elude, thank you very much. You're going to be number four. El raise your hand, Elba. So you're going to be number five. Me, teacher. Me, teacher, Mayra. Mayra and William. So Mayra, you're going to be number six and William, number seven. All right, so you know your numbers and what we're going to do, we're going to go according to the number. So person number one, person number two, person number three, and so on and so on and so on, okay? So what I'm going to do is that, oh, let's see, I know what's going on, okay, here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read just the first sentence in a normal way. Example here, I will not do any stress at all. I'm just going to say it the way we say it, and then we start with person number one, okay? Are the instructions clear? Please, please. I, I, I reading only or the, no sé, arreglarlas? No, no, no. You are just going to read, and okay. you will have to make the stress in the words in bold. Oh, yeah. That you will okay, have to yeah. make the okay. stress there, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say the example, like the first one here, I won't make any stress at all. I'm just going to say that the way it is there. And when I finish that, person number one starts doing the stress part, okay? So I start. I never say she took my money. Number one, I, ne I never say she took my money. Okay. Number, Number two. two, I never say she took my money. 
Okay, person number three. I never say she took my money. Thank you very much. Person number four. I never said she took my money. Okay, person number five. I never say she took my money. Okay, person number six. I never say she took my money. Okay, and person number seven. I never said she took my money. Okay. So there is only, escuché que todos excepto William pronunciaron el verbo decir, save. In English, guys, we don't say that. No decimos de esa manera. This, this is the past form. So in English, we say, said. When we have like this, because this is the past form. So we say said. So I never said she took my money. No volvamos a repetir y no volvamos a decir said, okay? That's, that's, that's not good. So another thing, otra cosa, escuché que algunos no me hicieron el stress. Se escuchó como que solo iba corriendo y no iba diciendo nada. So Melvin, do you have any question? ¿Cómo es la pronunciación correcta? ¿Say? ¿Say? Sed. Como cuando usted dice en español, tengo sed. Sed. Like that. Sed. Mm -hmm. Sed. Yeah, sed. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. All right. So, uh, let me see. I will, uh, now I'm going to select people. Ahora yo voy a elegir unas personas y vamos a verificar. Let me see. Daisy, you're going to be person number one. Iris, you are going to be person number two. Ingrid Jamilet, person number three. Joanna Cristabel, person number four. Sonia Pinti, person number five. Uh, let me see, Alberto Enrique, person number six. And Edith Araceli, person number seven. So let's go. I never say she took my money. Okay. Person I never two. say she took my money. Again, pay attention there. Les acabo de decir que no decimos said. Decimos said. 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 Okay. First, I never said uh -huh. she took my money. Okay. Person number three. I never said she took my money. Okay. Person number four. Who is person number four? Well, here I've been then. Uh, I never said she took, she took my money. Okay, person number five. I never said she took my money. Okay, and person number seven. Este, you are person number six. Okay, let's let's be person number seven then. Okay. I never say. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go. Your okay. teacher. No, the, the the who was talking? Quién quién era el que estaba hablando? What's what was your name? Yo que me había tocado person number six. Okay, so you're going to participate in the next one. So, Edith, let's see, Edith. Uh, seven. Number seven. Yes. Okay. Uh, I never said she took my money. Okay. Guys, uh, when we do the stress, cuando le ponemos stress, no necesariamente significa que la voy a pronunciar más duro. Porque eso es lo que estoy viendo. La mayoría, cuando van a pronunciar el stress, lo que hacen es decirla más fuerte. So it's not necessarily that. No significa que porque le vamos a poner el estrés, ah, casi gritado. No. It doesn't mean that. ¿Sí? Es una pequeña diferencia. So let's see. I 
never says she took my money. I never says she took my money. I never said 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 she took my money. You see? No es necesario estarla gritando. Eso no significa hacer stress. So, significa hacer, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Enfatizar, to emphasize, and to, to, when we do that sound, when we stress it, we clearly emphasize what we're saying. ¿Sí? Se escucha la diferencia. So, that's what we're looking for. ¿Sí? Para la próxima práctica, no significa gritarlo, ¿ok? Pay, take that into account, into consideration. So, thank you very much for the ones that are always participating. Por los que siempre están participando, I do appreciate that. It's also taken into consideration. Eso también se toma en cuenta because your participation is something that you should do every single time, okay? So thank you very much for those who are always there participating and saying things or trying to help me every single time I request uh, uh, your help. So now we're going to go to today's topic, guys. Today's topic is going to be a little bit easy. It's not going to be the same as yesterday, so I'll probably some of you already know about it. So it's going to be pretty easy. So we're going to have WH questions. That's pretty easy. See? La mayoría, the majority of you already know WH questions, but today we are going to understand how to use or how to form or the usage that we have to give to those WH questions, okay? So uh, let's see, let's start with what we have for today. Just let me click in here. All right. Can someone tell me what is the one that we are missing on the list? Which one are we missing on the list? Whom? Say it again. Whom? Whom, okay. Whom is pretty much the same as who. With the difference is that this is very formal and who is informal. That's it, but it's not whom. But thank you so much for, for, for your comment, okay? So, any other opinion? Algo otra opinión? Which one is missing here? ¿Cuál nos falta? When? When? No, we have when here. Aquí lo tenemos. When? We have it here. Sí, teacher. Where? Teacher. Why? Where? Where? Why? Where? Why? Why? No, aquí tenemos why. Okay. Será what for? What for? Not necessarily. No, we have what already. Quien da más, verdad? No, nobody. Nobody had any idea? Nadie tiene una idea? Not at all. No? Y le dijera que la persona que lo diga va a tener un punto extra en la evaluación final. Y cuidado con estar yendo al teléfono, vea, estar siendo a Google. No. Fair. Hay que ser honest. Honest with you and honesty first of all, okay? Because if you're going to Google, of course, Google is going to tell you everything. So nobody had any idea. Nadie tiene ninguna idea. No, teacher. So I will tell you then. So the one that we are missing is one that we use for ownership. When we want to know who something belongs to. So the one that I'm talking about is Whose? Whose? Have you ever heard that WH question? I'm fine. Que estaba, yeah? Yeah, verdad, yeah. So whose? That's the one that we were missing. 
So now, let me see how do you pronounce that, Carlos Regalado. Let me listen to your pronunciation of the WH questions, the one that we have here. Let's go. Uh, I think that you're talking, but we cannot listen to you because you have your microphone off. Okay. Okay. Who? What? Uh huh. When? Uh -huh. Which? Where? How? We. Okay. Let me see. I don't know. Okay. Who? What? When? Which? Where? How? Why? In bus. Okay. Eliud. Okay, teacher. Who? What? When? Which? Where? How? Why? Okay, let me see Elmer. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why? Okay, Joaquin, can you help me doing the same thing? Who, what, when, which, where, who, why? Okay, thank you very much. And the last one is gonna be Iris. Who, what, when, which, where, who, why? Okay. Excuse Let me, have, have the question, teacher. Um, uh, yes. the, the other W question is how much or how many, what time? I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand. Can you repeat that again? Um, and the, the other W question, did you say? The other. No, the, the one that I asked, la que les pregunté, que hacía falta era esta que tenemos acá. Who? Oh, okay, okay. Who's that's the only? Teacher, yes. I have a question. What's your question? I heard some people who pronounce who, uh, sorry, how, uh, how and how, which is the, the correct pronunciation? Oh, actually, if you say uh, um, ha, uh, how and how, well, if you say how, uh, well, I mean, el que está bajo de why, es que he escuchado algunos, incluso profesores de acá de, de inglés corporativo que pronuncian how, how, oh. y me confunde porque yo había escuchado siempre que era how. Okay, that's that's kind of weird. That's that's weird because we usually say how, we never say ho. Because if you say ho, eh, honestamente, esa palabra es en un sentido eh, bastante sexual, no? So never say that. Nunca más vuelvan a decir ho. Is that ho? It's not, por favor, no, verdad? Sí, so be careful. So we say, sí. eh, como le mencionaba, a mí me confunde porque eh, obviamente no puedo corregir al teacher, pero ya he escuchado I, teachers pronunciándolo así. Okay, that, that, might be, that might be any situation there. I really don't know what happened there, but usually we have to be really careful with the pronunciation. So thank you very much for bringing that up because I mean, that's obviously is going to help us all to clearly understand what is the best way we need to pronounce things. So remember right now we say how, how, we never say ho. Por favor, nunca vayamos a cometer ese error de decir esa frase si no queremos pasar vergüenza con un americano, okay? So now, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now, eh, escuché que por ahí algunos también están eh, teniendo problemas with this one, with which. And uh, we have to be a little bit careful too, porque si usted me hace un sonidito de una T, ahí usted ya no me está diciendo cuál, sino me está diciendo bruja. Ok, so be careful guys. Es por eso que ahora en este módulo le vamos a dar con todo a your pronunciation, ¿ok? Para que nadie les vaya a decir nada y allá afuera en el mundo real del inglés no tengan ningún problema, ¿ok? Because I mean, uh, I remember when I was learning, because I was a student too, también fui un estudiante, 
Y créanme, se siente feo pasar vergüenzas. ¿Ok? But, I mean, those things, también esas cosas nos ayudan. Hay veces cuando alguien nos corrige nos dice, no, it's not in that way. You have to say it this way. That, that also helps you. ¿Ok? So, let's see how we have to pronounce those. We have who, what, and which, which, not which, okay? Which, where, how, why, and whose, whose. All right. Now, let me see. Vamos a ver si es cierto, verdad? Um, Ingrid, can you please, Ingrid, make the pronunciation of those once again? Okay. Um, who, what, when, which, where, how, why, whose. Okay. Remember, por favor, remember that this is which, okay? Which, not esa, esa tea de ahí en medio. Let's try to forget it, see? De practicar también en casa, chicos. Sí, no solo en la clase. Try to practice at home. Boris, you have a question, Boris. No, teacher, no. Oh, you don't have a question. Uh, oh, okay. I just want to repeat. The, oh, okay. Go, go ahead, do it. Thank you. Who, what? Okay. Mm -hmm. When, which, where, how, why, and who? Why and who? Thank you very much. Now, guys, we are going to go one by one, and we are going to try to understand how we use them. First of all, let's keep this in mind. WH questions cannot be answered by a yes or no. Nunca podemos contestar con yes or no una WH question. Jamás. Porque si usted le pregunta, where are you from? Usted no le va a decir yes. No, that's not. So a WH question can never be answered with a yes or no. We have to keep that in mind, okay? So let's move on. Let's start with the first one. And we're going to go with the first one, which is who. We are going to use who, guys, when we want to know the name of a person. And we have some examples here. Who is he? Remember, another thing, otra cosa muy importante, and I'm going to say this in Spanish, porque necesito que todos lo entiendan y que después no digan, no, yo no entendí, okay? So, when we make questions, cuando hacemos pregunta, la entonación al final es importante. Porque incluso en español no sucede. Hay veces alguien está diciendo algo y todavía le preguntamos. ¿Es una pregu es afirmación o es pregunta? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Porque no entendemos. So, intonation, si yo le digo who, who is he, who is he, is not, no es lo mismo que yo diga who is he. You see? The intonation of a question, entonación de una pregunta. And you can say, usted puede decir, ay, una entonación. No, guys. Si usted va a aprender inglés, apréndalo de la manera correcta. So you see, who is he? So we have to make intonation right there. He's my teacher. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here we have some common examples. Ejemplos muy comunes de questions that are used with who. So let me see. Vamos a ver uh, volunteers. Voluntarios. Me, it is teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, please, when you say me, uh, tell me your name, because if not, I get lost. Si no me pierdo. And I don't know who is me. Uh, Ana. Okay, Ana, you're going to help me with the first two, then Iris with the next two, then I can see Elmer with the next two, and Melvin with the last two. Okay, let's go. Okay, who are you? Okay, there I need the intonation, please. Who are you? Who are you? Excellent. Next one. Uh, number two. 
Hello, se nos perdió. Who is he? Who is he? Or she? Okay, there we need a little bit more of intonation. Who is he? Who is he? he. Or she? Okay, now, who is the next one? Quien es el siguiente? Who is the next one? With he, the next? Who is okay. your best friend? Okay. Who is calling? Excellent, that was good. So the next two. Who wants some ice cream? Who asking the question? Who asked the question? Okay. Who asked the question? Okay, great. And who is the last one? King is the ultimo. Who is the last one? Who is faster? Uh -huh. Who is the most beautiful? Excellent. That was a good intonation of the of the questions. Okay. So guys, if at any point of the presentation or the slide, is there any word or, or any part of the vocabulary that you do not understand, please ask. Pregunte, aproveche esta hora, ¿sí? Pregunte lo, lo que necesite saber so we all can learn and we all can understand things, okay? So uh, this is pretty much it for the part of who. So let's go to the part of what. In what, we are going to use what when we want to know the name or when we name an object, an idea or an action. For example, we have, what is that? What is that? It is a pencil. So you see, when we give the answer to it, we're saying that that's a pencil. So we're going to have some examples and let's see. Um, I will need some volunteers too. Melvin, thank you very much. Me, buddy. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have Melvin, then we will have Boris with another two, then we will have Nivia with another two, and Carlos will have the last three. Let's go. Teacher, number one and number two? Yeah, number one and number two. Carlos, ¿cuál me dijo, teacher? I'm sorry, what? You, oh, Carlos, you the last the last three. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, Melvin, let's go, Melvin. What what is it? What is what it? What is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. What this? What that? Okay. Now, the next person, who is the next person? Boris. Okay. What is the weather like? No, this one here. What do you, ah, what day, what day is it? Uh -huh. What is the weather like? Okay, that was good. What, next what do you want? Ah, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Who is the next person? What do you want to do? What are you doing? Thank you very much, Carlos. What time is it? Okay. What do you do? Okay. What does your father do? Okay, now let me ask you a question for you all, para todos. What is the difference between what are you doing and what do you do? What is the difference? Does any one of you know? Which are the present continuous verbs? Yes, that's the in, in grammar. That's that's good. That's that's in that's the action good. and the time. Mm -hmm, but but when I say that if. For example, uh, si yo le pregunto a alguien, what are you doing? O le pregunto a alguien, what do you do? In present, what do you do? Creo you que... Está haciendo la acción. Mm -hmm. Teacher, creo que what are, what are you doing es como, ¿cómo te va? Uh -huh. No estoy seguro, pero el otro es, le pregunta qué está haciendo en ese momento. What do you do? Es que acción está realizando y el otro es cómo te va. 
Mm, okay, uh, Lopez, sure. Andrea, do you uh, have any questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, okay. What do you do? Creo que significa que te dedicas. Y what are you doing? Es lo que, que estás haciendo. Excellent. That's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. Si alguien le pregunta a usted, ¿a qué te dedicas? Es, what do you do? Cualquiera pensaría que, como decía, what do you do? Es como, ¿qué haces? En presente, but no. In English, remember, eh, hay que saber que hay veces traducimos, y ese es el problema que tenemos, que traducimos literalmente de español a inglés. But in English, hay cosas que ya están dadas por el idioma, so we cannot translate them. Those are phrases that are already created. So when we say, what do you do? We refer or we make reference to professions, occupations, jobs, and things like that. When someone asks you, what are you doing? We make reference to the action or what are you specifically doing at the moment? That's the difference, okay? So, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? All right, so let's go. Uh, we're going to go with when. When we want to use when, it's because we want to know about a time. When we say time, we involve a variety. You know, we, we can talk about dates. His time involved dates involves a lot of things. So when we use when, it's because we obviously want to know about the time. So we have an example right here that says, when does class start? When does class start? It starts at three o'clock. So we also have some other examples, which are some common examples that we have in the usage of the WH question, when. So Eri Bean, I'm going to ask you to help me with the first two. Hi, Joe Joaquin. Okay, Joaquin, you're going to help me with the next two. Me, teacher. You're going to help me with another two. Wilfredo, you are going to help me with the last, with the other two. And Katia is going to be with the last one, just one. Okay, Eraibin, let's go with you. Uh, when is your birthday? Okay. When is your field trip? Thank you very much. Joaquin. When does the movie start? Okay. When does the train arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Okay, thank you very much. Who is the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. When do you do your homework? Okay. When are you free? Thank you. That was good intonation. Who is the next one? Uh -huh. Right. Okay. When were you born? Mm -hmm. When is the anniversary? Thank you very much, Mayra. Now let's go with Kat. Me, teacher. Okay. When does the class finish? Okay. When does the class finish? Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any word or any part of the vocabulary that you were not able to understand in this part? Yes, teacher. What? <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I, I mean, you can say the understand of. Oh, okay, okay. Nidia, you have a question? I heard Nidia somewhere. No? Probably I got confused. Or, or, or I'm getting crazy, probably. So, all right. So let's move on. So here we have guys. Phil, Melvin, Phil means campo. Campo, that's the meaning of that. So where, when we use where, it's because we want to know a location or a place. Every single time that we want to know about either one of those, we will have to use where. So we have an example right there that says, where are my books? there on the desk, okay? So we are going pretty fast, guys, because this topic is not actually that difficult. It's pretty easy. So you just have to remember how to use the WH questions, and that will be so easy. Now, let me see, uh, Carmen Guadalupe, are you, are you there? 
Yes, yes. Okay, Carmen. So help me with the first two. Okay. Uh -huh. Where am I? Perdón, eh, where am I, my pinky glass? Where, my, where are my glass? Okay, so we say, where is my pencil case? Where are my glasses? Now, let me see, I have Juan Eduardo. Tell me with the other two, please. Where is the post office? Where are you from? Excellent. Let me see, we, we have uh, Elba. Elba, help me with another two, please. Where is he from? Where is he from? Okay. Where are they from? Thank you very much. Now, William, William, help me with another two. Where are they from? Okay. Where do you work? Excellent, that was good. And the last one, uh, I can see that you raise your hand, but I don't know who you are because it says Moto G Play. No tiene nombre, solo dice Moto G Play, so I don't know who you are. Well, I don't know. So I'm going to ask Alberto, Alberto Enrique, are you there? Yes. Okay, Alberto, let's go with the last two. Is there, where do you want to go? Where is Canada on the map? Excellent. So we're going to move on to the next one. Why? Why every single time that we use why, it's because we want to know a reason or the purpose about anything. So every single time that you ask that is because you want to know information about it. So we have an example right here. Why are you so happy? Because I love English class. So uh, something important also is that you have to keep in mind that when someone asks you a question about why, you will always have to answer that question with because every single time. Or you can never say because in a question. That's, that's not, not possible. So we're going to move on to the examples we have here. And this time I'm going to ask for volunteers, okay? Yo teacher, soy Ana. Ana, let's go Ana with the first two. Why are you sad? Sad. Sad. Mm -hmm. Why are you sad? Why are you crying? crying? Why are you crying? Thank you very much. Melvin, another two, Melvin. Why are you laughing? Laughing with F. Laughing. Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? Okay. Why are you late? Why are you late? Thank you very much. Nidia, help another two, Nidia. Why was Chris not at school yesterday? Okay. Why? Why are you running? Why are you running? running? William, another two. Why do people exercise? Okay. Why do we need to study English? That's that's actually a really nice a nice intonation of the questions. Thank you, William. Let's keep it up with that in that way. Okay, Elmer, I will need your help with the last one, Elmer. Okay, teacher. Why do you think he did that? Why do you think he did that? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, do we have any question regarding to vocabulary or that's perfect? Is it okay? Everything here? Be sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation, why are you la la laughing? G laughing. GF, laughing. La GH que está ahí se pronuncia como F, la fin, la fin. So, okay, dice palabra que significa. ¿Por qué te está riendo? Why are you laughing? Laughing. Uh -huh, that's it. Okay, teacher, thank you. 
All right, so let's move on to the next one, guys, which is going to be which. So uh, this one, guys, we are going to use which when we have a choice. It means that we have more than one option. When we have more than one option, we will always use which, okay? Always. So we have the example here, and as you can see in the images, we have two ice creams here. We have a red and we have a yellow. So we obviously have two options. These two options that we have, and based on that, we created the question. And this little guy is asking to this girl, and, and he's asking her, which one do you want? Which one do you want? ¿A qué hace referencia este one? Does anyone have an idea? Al helado, teacher. El helado. We, we omit. We omit saying, we can say, which ice cream do you want? We can say that. But we can omit the word ice cream and we can use the, um, in that case, the noun one. So we can say, which one do you want? Making reference to the ice cream. So the girl says, I want the red one. Okay. So as you can see, that's the way we have to use it. Of course, we also have some examples here and I will need Daisy for the first two, Iris for the next two, Vidal for the last two. Let's go. Which one do you prefer? prefer. Which teacher do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Which teacher do you like the most? Which of me, my books were you'd like to borrow? Borrow? No sé si se pronuncia así. Yeah, leave, leave it there. Borrow. Borrow. Borrow, okay. Borrow. Okay, Iris. Let's go, Iris. Okay. Which one it is? Okay. Which one it is to the library? Library. Library. Okay, which way is it to the library? And Vidal, we have the last one for you. Which restaurant shall we do? We do? Okay, uh, we, we don't say restaurant, we say restaurant. Restaurant. Rest, restaurant. Which restaurant shall we go to? Okay, thank you very much Thanks. for those who are always participating. Now, the last one, this one is going to be a little bit confusing probably for some of you, for some others, probably not. Uh, so I need you to pay attention on this one so you don't get lost, okay? So whose, because we usually, we don't use that much whose. Only when we want to ask about a belonging. Cuando queremos saber possession, a quien le pertenece tal cosa. That's the only reason when, or the only time when we are going to use the WH question whose. As it says there, we use the WH question whose when we want to show possession or ownership about something. So if I ask the question to someone, whose shirt is on the floor? Whose shirt is on the floor? John's shirt is on the floor. Cualquiera podría confundirse y pensar que ese apóstrofe S, estoy hablando del verbo to be, right? Cualquiera pensaría que es el verbo to be que está ahí contractado. Am I right? Si me equivoco, eso es lo que todos pensaron. Es de no, posesión. Ok, some, as I said before, some of you, algunos de ustedes, probably you already know that. Some others probably don't. So that's the reason why I was asking just to verify or to find out if some of you already know that. So in this case, we, we don't have to get confused because some of you might think, Oh, but that's apostrophe S, so that's probably the verb B. But no, that apostrophe S is just showing the possession about something. So when we translate that to Spanish, this apostrophe S means the. So if I say John's shirt, es como que diga la camisa de Juan. You see? So that apostrophe S, in ningún momento es el verbo to be. So, because we have here in the example, 
Y podemos ver la respuesta en el example that says John's shirt is on the floor. Okay. So we are using the verb be but later because this apostrophe S is about possession. Okay. Question so far, so far, so good. Ese apostrofe teacher solo se va a ocupar en el whose. Only in the whose. Yeah, just for the WH question, whose. Nor in any other one, we will never use that. Of course, there are some other topics in which you are going to use that. But specifically when we talk about WH questions, the only one that is going to use uh, the possession or the possessive in that case is WH question whose. Okay. So is there any question? Alguna otra pregunta? Well, silence is more than teacher, not teacher. Uh huh. Yeah. Katia, were you going to say something? No. No. Okay. Well. All right. So this is another form. We have form number one. Esta es la primera forma en que podemos responder a WH question whose or a question with whose. And this is the other way. We can say whose pen is on the desk? Whose pen is on the desk? That is my pen. So we can also use adjetivos possessivos. So if I ask you the question, let me see. Uh, if I ask you the question, can everyone see the chat? Si les hago esa pregunta en el chat, ¿cómo responderían? Whose book is there? You see the chat there? I wrote the, the, the sentence there. The excellent, William, that is my book. Mary's book, Maida, that's excellent too, Mary's book. Okay. That is my book. Anna Noemi, that's also correct. That is my book, my book, but you add a letter S on that. Si, luego me volviste a escribir is. So delete that, that, that letter S, and then that is my book, okay? Carlos Rivas, do you have any question? Good evening. Uh, I had a question that I am a little confused with whose and whom. I thought that whom was... Uh, the king, but the who's is the same or where is the difference? Exactly. Okay, all right. All right, so when we use who is a king, not the king. And when we use, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, when we use whom is a king, but every single time cuando vamos a utilizar a whom, eh, lo utilizamos en contextos super formales. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, si yo voy a escribir una carta, yo quiero decir a quién corresponda. Yo digo, to whom correspond. So, every single time that we use whom is para quién, o la persona no de posesión, sino que a quién, a quién va a llegar una cosa, no de, de algo que tú tienes, algo ah, okay. que pertenezca. It's not okay. that. So, okay, thank you. Okay, possession and ownership, that is going to be whose. All right. I can still see some, some examples. Puedo ver los que participaron ahí. That's hairs. Had I been there in hairs? Eh, sin el apostrophe. Teacher. We don't use apostrophe there. Thank you. Or is this that? I'm sorry, say, repeat that again, please. Is necessary usar that or podría haber contestado is my book? I mean, let me tell you this. In English, I'm going to understand you if, for example, if I ask you the question, the question that I asked, la pregunta que yo puse ahí, si yo te preguntara a ti, whose book is there? Y tú me dices, is my book? Okay, I'm going to understand what you're telling me. Incluso un americano te va a entender. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos en inglés 
algo que le llamamos lenguaje calle y lenguaje profesional. ¿Sí? Usted me dice, is my book? Ok. Todas las personas o los nativo hablantes le van a entender. ¿Pero qué sucede? Usted no me está hablando un lenguaje eh, como educado, un lenguaje eh, gramaticalmente correcto, sino que usted me está usando un lenguaje de las calles, un lenguaje cualquiera, X. ¿Sí? No sé si you understand what I'm trying to say. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, you can say that, si lo puedes decir, but it's not recommended. Because if you want to speak properly, si, si quieres hablar bien, you have to say that is my. So you cannot say is mine, even though it's going to be understandable. Okay. So is there any other question? Alguna pregunta or is everything clear? Well, okay, I'm going to guess that was okay. So now guys, we're going to go to the practice. And this practice, of course, we are going to use uh, WH questions. Just let me get the slide for you and we're going to go, okay. Uh, let me see. All right, here it is. Please let me share the screen with you so you can see it and we can work with that. So, this one. All right, so we're going to go with that one. And I just need you to take a screenshot or, you know, to take a picture of it because we are going to go to the breakout room and we are going to try to work together on this part, okay? So you let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. next one what do you have to do in this one in this one in this part you have the answers aquí tienen la, la respuesta so you will have to create the questions ya tienen la respuesta van a tener que crear la pregunta a partir de la respuesta okay so that's number two and number three is this one So what you have to do here is just to connect one with the other, and that's it. So I guess everyone got the screenshot, so I'm, I'm pretty sure about it. So I will stop sharing right now, and we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Once again, guys, el día de ayer escuché que algunos siguen hablando español there. So try to practice your English. Trate de hablar en inglés lo más que pueda, ¿sí? I will be checking there. So, everyone, please go to the breakout rooms. Try to join your group, and I will be checking all of you there. So what happened with you guys? Were you able to join your group? Okay, I saw that someone asked for help here. No? No. It's compared. 
is compare the pictures and WhatsApp. How you go to school? How? How you? How you go to school? How? Vamos a responder, verdad? Sí. Is the complement the sentence? Where? Where? I he, go. When? That's when, when, when does, when does your class end? Or oh, when does the class end? When does class end? Uh-huh. What does your father do? Cuatro sería, what does your father do? Okay. ¿Cómo quedaría la cuatro? What does your father do? What does your father do? Does. What does your father do? Pero es das porque no, habla, no está hablando de la segunda persona, sino está hablando del papá, que es la tercera persona. Ya las tengo, me las pasé a otro teléfono. How would you go to school? How do you go to school? This is the order in the letter two. Yes, work. Work, 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 I think work. The, the question mark is, is the finish in the in the. Hello, teacher. Hello. So I see that nobody is saying anything here. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, what the other ones? Alberto, William, Valentin, Carmen, Ingrid, Emily. What's going on with you guys? You're supposed to be practicing and helping each other, not just being in silence there. Hello, teacher. Eh, está armando lo de las preguntas. Mm, okay, so you should help each other. The reason why we're here in this group, or the reason why we moved to this group, is because you have to help each other. Try to, help each other and try to speak each other. Okay? Because I don't see the other ones participating. I don't know if you're there or not. Okay? Thank you, Chair. Bueno. Why do you get up early on Sunday? Okay, so, um, well, I guess some of you didn't complete the exercises. Uh, I was checking some groups and some of them were not able to complete them all. So we're just going to try to wait for the other ones to come back to the main session and we're just going to do Number one, number two, and number three. So we're just going to do that to wait for the other ones to come back. So let's see. 
I can see some others still there. Okay, so probably, all right, so now everyone is gonna be coming back. Yes, there we are. So let me see, William, I will ask you for number one, William, let's go with number one. Let me see how you do it, how you did it in this case. William Livorio. Yes, teacher. Okay, how do you have, or what? what's, how did you, did you do with this one? What did you do with number one? What's your answer for that? Or how do you form that? Do you have any idea or no? Uh, like yes and no, right? No, teacher. Okay, so let me see, uh, be that. Teacher, yeah. I don't know, I don't know, say, who are you go to the school? Who are you go to school? No, that's good. How do you go to school? How do you do? How, How do you go to school? school? Why? Aquí estaba en, en letras rojas. He says, it says clue, pista, questions in simple present. So, Teacher. Yes. Where, do, where does he work? Number three. Where, where does he work? Excellent. What about number three? Does anyone have any idea? Number three. Number number three. When does he class end? When does class end? Excellent. And the last one. Let me see number four. Anna Noemi, do you have number four? Okay. What does did your father do? What does your father do? Excellent. So that's going to be all for today, guys. And remember to try to well to keep working. Oh my God. We listened to a lot of interference there, so I don't know. Okay, so what I was going to say is that do not forget that you have to keep working on the platform, okay? Hello. Keep working on the platform, and if you have any question or something, feel free to ask. So, it's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for being on time in Hello. class. And that's that's Thank all, guys. Teacher. Have a good night. Teacher. Teacher. Imagines. Okay, I will try to. Yes, uh -huh. yesterday was not me. It was someone else. Uh, oh, mañana vamos a tener clase, ¿verdad? Yes, tomorrow we have class. Tomorrow we have class. Okay, next teacher, week, thanks. Next week, we are just going to have classes uh -huh. Thursday, Thursday, but this week we will have tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. So see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good Bye, night. Bye, teacher. Good see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Bye. See you.